guys. Thought I'd make a quick video on this 1985 Suzuki LT185 I picked up yesterday. I bought it for 50 bucks. And it's kind of rough. Um, but that one started out rough too and look at it now. So maybe there's potential here. Um, I don't know. It's, it does have spark. Um, the recoil is all loose. Um, I was told it does not run. So, I'll be digging into that. I'm not quite sure what this plate is for. I have no idea. Hmm. Uh, it's got 3,000 miles. This handlebar here is a little tweaked. It's bent down. So maybe I'll try heating that up and straighten it, straighten it back out. It does have front suspension. And it's got grease fittings here. That's kind of cool. Um, I did get new front tires. Guy gave me some tires for the front. These ones are pretty much shot. Uh, this front fender is pretty nice shape. I don't see any cracks. Uh, it's missing hardware all over the place, though. So. Uh, seat needs a new cover. Could probably get away with using this foam. I tested for spark earlier, that's why this is out. Um, yeah, this is coming off the, the drain for the carbs, so I don't know. I'll have to see where that goes. Um, what else? These tires, <laughs> it's like so 1980s or maybe even early 90s, this style tire, it's kind of funny. And I notice it's got a grease fitting right here. That's kind of cool. Chain drive. Does have reverse. This is cracked. Uh, the rear fender. It is cracked here. But that can be plastic welded. A uh, crack right there. Another crack here. So it must have went on its left side, that's why that handlebar is bent. But this is a gas tank. There's some gas in there. Looks like it's got the original Makuni carb. So we'll have to take that off and see what shape that is in. And this motor's been apart before. You can see like the red RTV. And then the shifter here, it's missing the indicator. This is for reverse. But for 50 bucks, I figured, what the heck, sometimes you just gotta not ask too many questions and just buy it. So, here we are. It's got the choke. Oh, this is the uh, decompression lever, but it's not, it's not hooked up. So I don't know what's going on there. And this carburetor is kind of funky. It's got this little plunger here. So, and it says here, like if it's below 40 degrees or above 40, um, choke limiter knob in for above 40. So, and then this is like a little primer deal right here on this side right there. So, because the gas tank is lower than the carbs, so you gotta get it, you know. And this is like the 
this hose here is like the vent for the uh, for the gas tank. So should be a fun project. Hopefully it's not too bad, but you just never know. Um, I haven't done a whole lot of digging as far as parts availability. Like I'm probably gonna need the gasket for this case cover here. So anyway, yeah, couldn't go wrong. All right, just thought I'd give you a quick update. I've been pretty busy lately. Uh, last weekend, put a new door in here. The old door was all rotten. The frame is all rotten at the bottom. So I got this door in, kind of cleaned the garage today. Just getting stuff done before winter. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Wow. <laughs>